If you watch my stream at twitch.tv forward slash myorbi, you already know why I'm here to make this video. You already know everything I have to say about this subject, and it's quite elaborate. So elaborate, indeed, I decided to make a video on it. I'm here to introduce you to a man named Lou Dong. Now, you won't recognize that name, for good reason. He's not famous, but he has developed quite a cult following on the old YouTubes for his videos massaging women. Now, that sentence, he's developed a cult following for his videos touching women. You should already know where this video is going. You should know from that one sentence, everything there is to say. You could stop watching the video now, but please don't. I need, I need the money. So Lu Dong is a middle-aged man who records videos of himself giving out spiritual massages, whatever the fuck that means. And then he uploads them to his YouTube channel, which is called Ichi Spiritual Massage Lu Dong. Oh, would you look at that? Boom, gang signs. So now that you know the whole context, let's let's check out some of the videos, shall we? Okay, so Lu Dong ASMR Thai Cairo Pratikyu massage out. A nice spelling, by the way, homie. So it starts out pretty normal. Back rub, leg rub, sort of arm rub, and then out of nowhere. Oh, oh, um. <laughs> That's not normal. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that judging by her reaction, she's not entirely comfortable being touched like this, my guy. You're gonna see this in a lot of the videos where he starts out doing some kind of quasi-medical breast examination, which then just morphs into him playing with boobs. This one goes on for almost five minutes and at no point in the video does she look comfortable. But you know what? Maybe I'm cherry picking, right? Maybe I'm just picking out the bad ones. Let's look at another one. Okay, so here we go. Massage Lu Dong 2017. Lu Dong hands massage at Union Square. All right, so it starts out pretty normal, but I'm willing to bet that if we just skip to the end, we're gonna say, yeah, bro, you ain't slick, bro. You ain't slick, we see what you're doing. Can I just say, how is this considered spiritual? He calls it a spiritual massage. How is it, spe the only way I would call this spiritual is if the spirit in question was chloroform. Oh, every woman in these videos seems to be in severe discomfort. Like, no one could look at this and be like, oh, he, <laughs> wow, he's a professional. When I look at this, I think it's almost like he doesn't know what he's doing. All right, so he's motorboating her in the middle of Union Square. Wow, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro, did you see the look that she just fired to the camera? She's like, do you see this shit? <laughs> This is not what I agreed to. Now look, at, at the risk of sounding racist, now bear with me, there has to be an element of this where women are just saying yes to him because he's Chinese. They think because he's Chinese, he must have trained in some like monastery. It must be a traditional Chinese massage I'm gonna get. I say that because if this was an American man from Detroit who came up and went, ladies, you want a massage? They'd be like, <laughs> good one, Kevin. Dude, that's not, that's not normal. Come on now, that's, that is not a massage. Look, I am not a licensed massage therapist. And some people would probably say that this guy's not either, but I'd never say that for legal reasons. But what I do know is what it looks like when a guy's just playing with boobs. This is what that looks like. My favorite part is right at the end of this video, he tries to convince her that all that playing with her boobs he just did has now cured all of her issues. Your father only gives fixed oh. love. Only 20 min, 20 percent. Now the problem is gone. Right, you know, right? Okay. I know. Yeah, so keep it warm. Yeah. You don't see that level of bullshit often. You have to respect it. Oh, bro, there's a part right at the end where she has to slowly put her clothes back on. It's like at the end of a bad one night stand that ended too soon. Probably, I mean, I don't know. I'm a fucking stallion. I wouldn't know. I mean, in a way, this is the embodiment of the American dream. I mean, here's a guy who had a dream of moving to America so that he could touch women inappropriately in the street, and he fucking did it. He's living the dream. He's living his best life right now. And you know what? Maybe, maybe one day he'll be president. All right, we'll check out another one. <sighs> you know, there's a point in every one of these videos where you think, I wonder when it's gonna go weird. Like every one of them goes weird at some point. Only very, very fast. They can watch it. Otherwise, 
No, Brock. No. 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 Stop. 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 No. I'm so uncomfortable. If something makes me me uncomfortable, it has to be pretty bad. I mean, I like making women uncomfortable too, bro. But there's a fucking limit. I I don't. I feel like I'm witnessing something horrific. I don't want to watch these anymore. I think I'm done with the videos for now. Let's take a look at the comments. Oh no. <laughs> Thoroughly donged. He really knows what his viewers want. He, see, the comment section doesn't pretend. None of the people in the comment section are pretending that they're here to learn about massage by, you know, some great intelligent man. No, 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 no. They're here to see him play with boobs. Watch her feet. Why being a very attractive woman with fine legs and body? She has those horrible feet, shocked. I still would lick those toes. Oh, Come on. He's- bro, Daniel is down horrendous. Notice how he speaks in broken English purposely. He massages dudes for five minutes tops. Women get the full 20 to 45 minute treatment and straight to the ass like it's Christmas. Mugen K, she is this guy's toy. She is decoys. What? Oh, he, here's an interesting one from my guy Edison. Fucking Edison. The the ladies man, Edison. Edison Marindilla. When Lou Dong retires, I will replace him. Trust me, I will be very good therapist. Much better than Lou Dong. Just put your trust on me, girls. Really? You will be satisfied with my service free of charge. With single finger technique. Ladies, you'd be lucky to have this man anywhere near you. Look, the hottest man in Jaipur. He looks like a shit Bob's Burgers ripoff. You can keep your fingers to yourself, my guy. Here's a very important one. How the hell people letting him do that? Well, I'm glad you asked because I think I have the answer and this is what makes the whole thing so deeply exploitative. In some of these videos, he does ask for consent. Well, kinda. He will ask these women, do you want me to check your breast? So you want to check your breast? Checking your breast? Yes. Also, you want to check the breast or no? The question that should be on everyone's lips is, is this man qualified to be checking anyone for anything at any time? Well, the answer appears to be no. I mean, his Facebook says that he went to school to learn machinery. He's a machinist. And he's got a bio here which says that he works now as a delivery driver for Domino's. He's a fucking pizza boy. Notice how nowhere in this bio he lists medical training of any kind or even any formal training in massage. Now, I would assume, and this is just my opinion, if he had either of those things, they would be listed in his bio. So now, presuming that he doesn't have medical training, why would these women say yes to him? Well, the answer is quite easy. In America, one in eight women will get breast cancer in their lifetime, and an early diagnosis is key in fighting that illness. But here's the issue. In New York, where this is happening, the average breast examination costs between $90 and $220. That's fucking ridiculous. So then when Ding Dong here offers to do it for free, women are like, that's an incredible deal. I mean, he wouldn't ask if he didn't know what he was doing. If I can save money while saving my own life, I'm gonna do that. I mean, I would do that, but I wouldn't do that if I knew that he wasn't qualified to do it. If I knew he was just a pizza boy, I would let him nowhere near my body. I've tried making this video many times, and in that time, I've watched hundreds of these videos, and I've never once seen him find something, some abnormality, and then say to the woman, you need to go see a doctor. I've never seen that. It's, it doesn't appear to be in any of the videos, but it should be in many of them. There's thousands of these videos. Statistically, there should be many videos of him finding issues, but he never has because he's not trained to. This video will make its way to Lu Dong, so I want to address you directly. I want to make you understand the issue here. You know, one day you're going to be approached by a woman who has genuine undiagnosed issues and you're going to do the same bullshit you always do where you fail to spot the signs and then you'll say, yep, no problem. You can go on your way. And then she'll trust you and she'll start ignoring health symptoms and she'll be like, you know what? I'm not going to go pay $200 for an actual examination because Hansy McPizza Boy here told me there's no problem. You are putting people at risk and it seems to me that you're only doing it so that you can cop a feel. So this was going to be the end of the video. I was going to wrap it up here with some probably dick jokes, but I found this post which I thought you might like to see. So someone posted on his Facebook, Hey Lou, 
Now that the quarantine's over, will you be back outside giving massages? Now he replies to this with quite a long rambling message. But if you stick around to the end, it gets quite interesting. He says, The third human catastrophe is, I think the gods in heaven's book used to say that he should be a politician. Genuinely, the way that he dodges questions. He's, he's back on his bullshit. I'm going to skip into it. He goes, uh... What do people depend on for their health? Psychotherapy massage? Self-immunity is the cure? Is the vaccine is the vaccine useful and reliable? Or is the vaccine for the purpose of making money? My guy, he just wanted to know if you were doing more massages. What are you talking about? Actually, what are you talking about? Okay, so he finally answers the message. He says, I've been making psychotherapy massage videos for 10 years, and I've massaged 20,000 people. The police caught me and put me in jail when well, it's about goddamn time. He doesn't make it clear why he got arrested, or if he does, I clearly missed it, but I feel like I could make a pretty decent guess why he would be. Now look, all of this is my opinion, and maybe I'm wrong. I'm open to being wrong. Lou, if you see this, and I'm wrong, you can tweet me. You can leave a comment below. You can reach out to me through my business email, and I will make a follow-up video clearing you of all charges. I mean, maybe he has... A medical degree. He just keeps it up his sleeve to pull out at parties. A little party trick. Did you know I'm an MD? Either way, if you enjoyed the video, I stream three times a week at twitch.tv forward slash myorbi. Jamie, could you pull up a clip? We should let Danny DeVito <laughs> fuck some kids. <laughs> wow, what an amazing clip. I know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.